Well, good afternoon everybody. How y'all doing? Pretty good here and welcome to the channel. Today I want to get on here and do a little comparison between the 2020 Toyota Tacoma, because that's what I'm looking to get, and the 2019, because that's the most recent information, Honda Ridgeline. Now, it just so happens we have a special guest, guest today, and that is Krista. <laughs> she is pro Ridgeline. So what better person to have than a pro Ridgeline person than to discuss this? So we're going to be comparing the two. And at the end, I'm going to tell you which one you should buy. At least what I think, anyway. So, to start off again, this is the 2020 Tacoma as compared to the 2019 Honda Ridgeline. Some would argue the Ridgeline isn't even a truck. No comment. All right. First of all, the first thing that we're going to look at is uh, it, are the engine choices. Now, the 2020 Tacoma comes with two engine choices. You can get the 2.7 liter if you want something a little more Ridge-like. It has 159 horsepower and 180 pound-feet of torque. Then there's the 3.5 liter. Now that's what I'm interested in. It's a 3.5 liter V6. By the way, the 2.7 is a V4. But it's a 3.5 liter V6. It comes with 278 horses and 265 pound-feet of torque. Now, what does the Ridgeline come with? Well, but honey, the Ridgeline has one engine choice. However, it is a 3.5 liter 280 horsepower and has 262 pound feet of torque. All right, so you might say that they're comparable in the engine department as far as that goes. We all know it depends on the gearing and everything else. Now, next, point number two is towing capability because a lot of people buy a truck, uh, a truck, so that you can tow things, you know. The 2020 Tacoma can tow up to 6,800 pounds. That's 6,800 pounds, depending on the, upon the configuration you get and how you have it set up. Not too bad. What about the Ridgeline? Well, honey, the Ridgeline can tow up to 5,000 pounds. 5,000 pounds? 5,000 pounds. That's like towing, I don't know, a heavy scooter? I don't know. Next, we're going to talk about tech and connectivity because if you watch the channel, then you know I am big on technology uh, in the truck or in any vehicle, really. So, the 2020 Tacoma comes standard across the board with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. How about the Ridgeline? Well, honey, the Ridgeline has these two, but I had to go up three trim levels to get it. Ooh, so that means she probably has to pay close to, I don't know, 45 grand, I bet, something like that. That kind of sucks. All right, next we're going to talk about comfort. Because you know, when you're out there driving around in your truck and hauling stuff or getting ready to unload that bed full of all that weight, you want to be comfortable. Now, the 2020 Toyota Tacoma, and this is new for 2020, comes standard with a 10-way power adjustable seat. You also have adjustable lumbar. You know, so that when you're at the hardware store, loading your stuff, and your back's getting tired, you just crank that little thing a little bit or push that button, and you get that lumbar support. What's the Ridgeline offer? Well, the Ridgeline is adjustable six ways, honey. Six ways? Six ways. Let's see. If we go six ways, front, back, up, down, that's four, forward, and backward. That's not very much. I get four more options with the Tacoma and adjustable lumbar support. I like that. All right. Back to truck things, right? Because we all don't jump in our truck to be comfortable, you know, to take a nap and relax and all that kind of stuff. What's the payload like? What can you put in your bed? 
Well, the Tacoma will haul up to 1,620 pounds in its bed. That's 1,620 pounds. How about the Ridgeline? Well, the Ridgeline, honey, can haul up to 1,586 pounds in its bed. Well, that sucks. That's not nearly 1,620 pounds. I mean, if you put a couple of big husky guys in there, you know, a couple of 250 pounders, you've already lost 500 pounds of weight. What are you gonna haul in there? A bag of dirt? I don't know. All right, let's talk about bed length. Because a lot of people get on and talk about bed length. They talk about wanting the longer beds to be able to haul longer pieces of wood or whatever you might want to put in there. You know, that nice big flat screen TV that of course you're going to be needing to haul. The Toyota Tacoma, uh, you can get up to a 73.2 inch long bed. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. How about the Ridgeline? Honey, the bed length in the ridge line is 63.6 .6 inches. That's five foot three. That's shorter than me. That means that you couldn't even fit in that bed. Oh well. If I had to haul you somewhere for some reason, I'd have to put the tailgate down the and your feet <laughs> would be hanging out of the bed. Yeah, it were. You couldn't <laughs> even haul a 10 foot ladder in there comfortably because half of it would be hanging out of the bed. Yeah. Yeah, you'd have to strap it down. Huh. Well, that kind of sucks. So, what does that tell us about uh, comparing the two trucks? And I use that term loosely. Uh, you know, I once saw a, a Ridgeline parked um, on a, I guess it was kind of a slope. Three wheels were down, one wheel was up. And when I say up, I literally mean up. That thing was so rigid that the right corner, the back side, the passenger side wheel, was just sitting way up in the air. There was no flex. So how do you take the Ridgeline off-road? I mean, let's say that someday she's out there running around mall crawling and there's a big pothole or something. I guess the one thing you don't have to worry about is when your wheels dip down, that rear wheel's not going to get damaged because it's just going to float over that pothole. I don't know. I've actually seen this. It's the craziest thing. Now, as far as off-road capability goes, everybody knows that the Tacoma is better. The Tacoma is number one off-road. Uh, maybe right behind the Jeep. I'm not exactly sure, but they're neck and neck. The Ridgeline, how many times do you ever see a Ridgeline going off-road? You ever taken a Ridgeline off-road? God, no. No? No. no. Have you ever taken anything off-road? Not yet, but, uh, I, uh, but I'm going to. You see there, that's my point already. Ridgeline people don't even know what they're talking about. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to get on here, talk about that a little bit. I thought it was kind of interesting. There are some comparisons out there between the Tacoma and the Ridgeline. And I suppose if all you're going to do is, is do a little weekend warrior and, you know, go to Lowe's and pick up a bag of potting soil, or maybe a little mulch, mulch, one bag, one bag <laughs> then you might be okay. But otherwise, if you're looking for a real truck, a truck that has real capability, towing capability, payload capability, and off-road capability, I'd suggest that you look at the Toyota Tacoma. As far as mileage, we'll throw this in at the end. You know, the thing that nobody wants to talk about, but everybody does. They are pretty much the same. A mile or two per gallon uh, difference. Uh, one is better in the city and one is better on the freeway. And that's it. Me personally, I would go with the Toyota Tacoma. Have I changed your mind? Um. She says yes. Anyway, <laughs> appreciate you guys watching. Just wanted to get on here, bring a Honda Ridgeline person on, get their, uh, their take on this little comparison. As usual, appreciate you guys watching because if you weren't, it'd just be some guy and some gal on the web talking to themselves. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time on the web. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. <laughs> what are you looking at?